All right, we're going to talk about the uh, multi purpose. Uh, what do you call this? A knife, a plier. Uh, it's not a Swiss Army knife. It's a mechanic. It's purposely built uh, multi purpose pliers. Uh, Leatherman is one of the most recognized brands because they actually make them pretty good and pretty cheap. This is my favorite. It's a Gerber. It has needle nose, pliers, wire cutters, a knife, file, three different flat tips, a can opener, Phillips, and a serrated blade. Multi-purpose knives are no longer as popular as they used to be at one time. And what's kind of funny was these pliers at one time were like my gotta have. When I was in the shop, we'd have trucks come in and you'd get the ticket and they'd tell you, hey, go out there, go check it or whatever. Well, you got to walk out to the truck, you got to hook up to it, lose battery cables, just all kinds of things, fuses would be blown, whatever. So rather than have to walk all the way back in or roll out the cart, I could pretty much do what I had to do most of the time with these pliers. And they were great because when you're flat rate, it's all about efficiency. It's all about efficiency. I don't see a lot of guys using them anymore. Uh, this was actually a, my number one tool for a lot of years, especially when I did heavy equipment, used the bejesus out of it. As a matter of fact, this is my third set of pliers. Um, the other two just got wore out. <laughs> but uh, these, these particular ones are Gerber. They do make all kinds of different brands, and they do make more specialized uh, multi-purpose pliers which are geared more towards guys that might be doing firearms or, or guys that might be doing uh, more like construction work and honestly I don't care if you're a lawn maintenance guy I don't care if you're a mechanic I don't care if you're a um, uh, facility maintenance mechanic um, I mean Everyone should have one of these. If nothing else, you should have one in the car, in the glove box, because they will come in handy. You'll be surprised. They can bail you out. And uh, it's amazing what you can do with these little pliers. Uh, I love them. Uh, I, did I did make a video of top six. This did not make it, because currently I don't use it as much, because I am a mobile tech, and my job duties and descriptions have changed. But yet, nevertheless, it is a tool that still has a place on my truck. And if anyone that's seen many of my videos is, everything has to earn a spot to ride in my truck. So, with all that said, the um, multi-purpose pliers for mechanics. You younger guys, if you don't have one, go buy one. I'm telling you. Put it in your, it comes with a holster. It's great. I mean, it's great. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I just can't really explain why I don't use it as much as a, as a mobile mechanic. I, you would think I would use it more. But as a shop mechanic, this and a flashlight in my pocket at all times. I mean, it must have. Flashlight and these pliers, and, and it, it, it helped with my efficiency on my flat rate time tremendously. So, guys, uh, younger guys, hey, you never seen them. you never been around them. Look into it, and they're cheap enough. You can go to the big auto parts stores. I think they still sell them there. Uh, I think even Harbor Freight has a version of them, real inexpensive. So you can get in real cheap on a um, Chinese brand. Then if you if you really think it's something you really like, you can step up, step it up to a uh, different brand or more tailor made with different uh, different options. And there are a lot of different options. They have some, you know, kind of like a Swiss Army knife, but geared more towards mechanical versus you know camping this is more towards uh, mechanical repairs so anyway what do you carry in your pocket let me know hey thanks for watching and appreciate everybody subscribing thank you